Our planet never ceases to amaze with its beauty and mysteries. Sometimes it seems that every corner of it has long been discovered and studied, but this is not the case. In this video, we invite you to get acquainted with some of the most unexplored territories on Earth. Number 10. Machuo County. Nestled within Tibet's enigmatic landscapes, shielded by towering, unyielding mountains, lies Mochuo County, a realm shrouded in Buddhist spirituality and raw natural splendor. This secluded sanctuary, deemed sacred by Buddhists, stands as the epitome of untouched beauty, its access hindered by the absence of roads due to natural barriers. Efforts to breach its isolation through road construction in the 1990s were thwarted by nature's wrath, with avalanches and landslides laying waste to human endeavors, preserving Motuo's mystique. The name Motuo, translating to Mysterious Lotus, perfectly encapsulates the essence of this hidden gem, a place seemingly guarded by the elements themselves, determined to keep its sanctity intact. Venturing to Motuo is an odyssey reserved for the bold, involving treks across snow-laden peaks, river crossings, and a precarious journey over a suspension bridge. This arduous four-day journey rewards the intrepid with vistas of alpine meadows, dense forests, pristine lakes and rivers, all cradled within the Tibetan Plateau's valley. Amidst these rugged, icy sentinels, Motuo emerges as a verdant retreat, a haven of peace and serenity that whispers of the profound mysteries and spiritual heritage it holds. Number 9. Cape Melville. Nestled on Australia's Cape York Peninsula, Cape Melville stands as a bastion of natural splendor, shielded by immense boulder formations. These natural barriers have safeguarded an ancient ecosystem, allowing it to flourish undisturbed by external threats. For years, the rugged terrain stymied exploration, earning the area the moniker The Lost World. However, in 2013, a groundbreaking expedition led by James Cook University and National Geographic ventured into this secluded paradise unveiling a treasure trove of biodiversity. Upon penetrating the dense foliage, the team was greeted by a host of previously unknown species, each uniquely adapted to life in Melville's secluded environment. Among their findings was the leaf-tailed gecko, notable for its elongated physique and piercing gaze, and the blotched boulder frog, a master of camouflage nestled within the labyrinthine boulders. They also documented the Cape Melville shade skink, a new lizard species thriving in the dim understory. But the discoveries weren't limited to fauna. The expedition also cataloged new plant species, underscoring Cape Melville's significance as a living museum of evolutionary marvels. These findings, exclusive to the area, highlight the critical importance of preserving such untouched ecosystems, reminding us of the wonders that lie hidden in the world's remote corners. Number 8. Javari Valley Deep within the Amazon, a vast expanse remains untouched, a sanctuary for tribes who live beyond the reach of modern civilization. The Javari Valley, straddling the Brazil-Peru border, stands as the Amazon's largest indigenous reserve, sprawling over an area as vast as Portugal, covering 85,344 square kilometers. This secluded haven is home to about 2,000 individuals from 14 distinct tribes, all of whom are wary of outsiders a sentiment rooted in their history of defending their lands against Brazilian poachers. These tribes cherish their isolation, living in harmony with the untamed wilderness, unlike the poachers who threaten the sanctity of their home. Despite their resilience and the protection afforded by Brazilian law, these guardians of the forest often face peril as their confrontations with armed intruders frequently end in tragedy. The struggle of the Javari people is a poignant reminder of the ongoing battle between the preservation of ancient ways of life and the encroachment of modernity. Number 7. Sarasarinama Mountain Sarasarinama, nestled in the southern reaches of Guana and Venezuela, stands out among the ancient tabletop mountains for its vast, untouched forests, where trees soar up to 25 meters high. This region, shrouded in mystery, was unveiled from the skies by pilot Harry Gibson, in November 1961, when he discovered enormous sinkholes, sparking scientific curiosity. However, the dense jungle made on-foot exploration nearly impossible until 1974, when a daring team was helicoptered to the summit. Expecting to find a lake at the bottom of a sinkhole, they instead encountered solid ground, 
and due to a miscalculation in their exit strategy, had to resort to deforesting the area for helicopter rescue, inadvertently harming the pristine ecosystem. Two years later, another expedition uncovered three additional karst caves, adding to the mountain's allure. The largest sinkhole, Sima Humboldt, plunges to depths of 1,350 meters. Locals whisper of a malevolent roar from Essi Mamol, believed to be the cry of an ancient spirit luring the unwary into its depths. Number 6. Tristan da Cunha. Tucked away in the vastness of the southern Atlantic Ocean lies Tristan da Cunha, an island embodying the essence of remoteness. Part of a British overseas territory, this speck of land spans 207 square kilometers and boasts the distinction of being one of the planet's most isolated inhabited locales. Its landscape is dominated by the active volcano Queen Mary's Peak, with human settlement nestled on a slender northern plain. Discovered in 1506 by the Portuguese explorer it's named after, Tristan da Cunha's initial inhabitant, Jonathan Lambert from Massachusetts, laid claim to it in the late 18th century, with Britain taking over in 1816. Despite its isolation and the challenges posed by volcanic activity, the last eruption occurring in 1961, the island has slowly grown to house 269 residents. These individuals, direct descendants of eight men and seven women settlers, have crafted a self-sufficient lifestyle far from the bustle of mainland civilization. Living on Tristan da Cunha is an exercise in resilience and ingenuity. With the nearest land masses several thousand kilometers away, the journey to or from Tristan da Cunha is a formidable six-day voyage by sea. Yet the community thrives, supported by a hospital, schools, churches, a harbor, and even a supermarket, underscoring a unique blend of isolation and self-reliance. Agriculture is tailored to the climate, with potatoes as the primary crop, complemented by lobster fishing and livestock farming. Despite, or perhaps because of, its isolation, Tristan da Cunha was shielded from visitors during the pandemic. Now, as it reopens, this island invites the curious to explore one of the world's last frontiers of untouched human settlement, where the spirit of community and an enduring connection to nature prevail. Number 5. Danakil Depression Imagine a place on Earth that closely mirrors the inferno described in mythological tales. That's the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia for you. This otherworldly landscape nestled in the northeastern desert of Ethiopia showcases an eerie beauty with its kaleidoscopic salt plains, hissing sulfuric vents, and a mesmerizing lava lake nestled within a volcano's crater. The Danakil Depression is notorious for its scorching temperatures, which hardly dip below 35 degrees C in winter, soaring to a blistering 63 degrees C in summer, earning it the title of Earth's hottest spot that's also 125 meters below sea level. Despite its harsh conditions, the Danakil Depression is a goldmine for scientific exploration. Among its most groundbreaking discoveries is the three million year old Australopithecus afarensis remains, positioning Danakil as a pivotal site in understanding human evolution. Moreover, it's home to robust microorganisms thriving in nearly boiling acid rich waters, defying the very notion of life's limits. While Danakil might mirror the landscapes of hell, its allure draws tourists and sustains local communities, making it a place of paradoxical beauty and survival. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Perched high above the blanket of clouds that enshrouds the earth lies the enigmatic citadel known as Ether's Crest. Shrouded in legend, it hovers like a mirage, unreachable by conventional means, a place where the earth meets the sky. Tales of its existence passed through generations as whispers of a realm where ancient civilizations thrived, untainted by the modern world, its pathways lost to time. Explorers who sought this fabled sanctuary spoke of a land of perpetual tranquility, where the air holds the breath of eternity and the ground, afloat in the heavens, defies all laws of nature. Yet none who ventured through the mists in search of Ether's crest have returned, their fates as much a mystery as the floating isle itself. It's said that those who find Ether's crest are faced with a choice, to return to the world below, relinquishing the memory of the isle, or to stay, embracing the solitude of the skies forever. Thus the isle remains an untouched enigma, a silent testament to the unknown, the most inaccessible and isolated place on earth, where the journey is a one-way sojourn into the clouds. Number 4. Mount Namuli 
Standing as Mozambique's second loftiest peak at 2,420 meters, Mount Namuli is enveloped in lush tropical forests at its base, presenting both breathtaking vistas and a haven for unique biodiversity. This mountain captivates scientists and adventurers alike, yet its formidable terrain renders thorough exploration a Herculean task. The first to venture here in 1886 was British explorer Henry Edward O'Neill, sparking interest among ornithologists. However, Mozambique's civil unrest kept researchers at bay until 1998, when expeditions resumed and unveiled rare animal and bird species exclusive to Namali's dense forests. A significant attempt in 2014 to penetrate its summit yielded discoveries of new ant species, yet only a fraction of Namuli's mysteries could be uncovered. The mountain is revered by locals as sacred, a sentiment that seems justified given the mountain's steadfast resistance to full human intrusion, preserving its wild, unspoiled essence. Number 3. Pitcairn Islands. Nestled in the vast expanse of the southern Pacific Ocean, the Pitcairn Islands emerge as a secluded outpost under British governance. Among its cluster of islands, only Pitcairn itself hosts human life, tracing its roots back to 1790. This island became the refuge for the infamous bounty mutineers and the Tahitian companions they took with them, setting the stage for a unique blend of cultures and histories. Declared a British colony in 1838, Pitcairn's population once swelled to 233 souls, straining its limited land of just over 4.5 square kilometers. To alleviate overcrowding, many were moved to other lands, leaving Pitcairn with a current count of just 47 residents. This dwindling number makes it the world's smallest national jurisdiction by population, with its numbers in decline and younger generations seeking education and opportunities abroad, Pitcairn faces an uncertain future. Despite the government's offer of land and homes to anyone willing to move there, the island struggles to attract new settlers. This tale of isolation and community poses a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by the world's most remote societies, possibly foreshadowing a time when Pitcairn might join its uninhabited neighbors in silence. Number 2. Sun Dung Cave Nestled in Vietnam's Phong Nha K Bang National Park, Quang Bin Province, Son Dung Cave stands as a marvel of natural beauty in Southeast Asia. Hidden away, its grandeur was unknown for years, accessible only by navigating through thick jungles and crossing rivers. Discovered in 1991 by a local farmer seeking refuge from a storm, the cave's existence slipped back into obscurity, shrouded in local lore and fear, until 2009 when British explorers stumbled upon its entrance anew. Venturing inside, they unveiled a colossal chamber of awe-inspiring scale and splendor. Spanning approximately 9,000 meters in length with a volume of 38.5 million cubic meters, Sun Dung claims the title of the world's largest cave. Though only 6,000 meters have been charted, its ecosystem thrives with light seeping through fissures, nurturing an array of life including bears, parrots, bats, and an abundance of butterflies alongside over 70 species of amphibians and reptiles. Sun Dung is a hidden realm of wonder, a testament to the planet's untouched beauty. Number 1. Heard and MacDonald Islands Nestled in the southern Indian Ocean, Heard and MacDonald Islands form a secluded archipelago untouched by human settlement. Heard, the larger of the two, sprawls across three 68 square kilometers and is essentially the tip of an underwater volcano. Its rugged terrain is crowned by Mawson Peak, soaring 2,745 meters high, with snow and ice enveloping 80% of its landscape year-round. Discovered in 1853 by American sealer John Hurd, and soon after, in 1854, William MacDonald stumbled upon its smaller companion, lending his name to the tiny MacDonald Island. This island, a mere 2.5 square kilometers, is also birthed from volcanic activity presenting a stark landscape of cliffs and rocky outcrops, peaking at 200 meters. For a brief period, seal hunters frequented these islands until the seal population dwindled, leaving them deserted. The British took sovereignty in 1910, later passing it to Australia in 1947. Today, these islands stand as silent witnesses to nature's undisturbed beauty, occasionally explored by scientists delving into their mysteries.